Tonight's featured episode, The Invisible Hunter. What? Where am I? Where? where? This? Hello? Untie me at once! Wakey wakey, old chap. We have a lot of topics to discuss. What were you doing down in Hamley Woods? What? Who said that? Where are you? Ah! You pinched me. I ask again. What were you doing in the woods? I... I... Me and my uh, colleagues needed to find something. Or someone. Untie me and I'll explain. And would that be a Mr. Clive Allen, pray tell? <laughs> uh, you aren't the only one luring people places, sir. I have my own forestry, but I require that land too for my own prey. I'm surprised it took us so long for us to meet once again. Luck must be on your side. But today you meet the one and only Clive Allen. Clive Allen? The killer of the woods? But we... The cult. We were the ones who've been sacrificing people. Clive Allen... And his books were just a trap, a fabrication. A trap that worked a little too well. Well, I'm sure your little club had its way with those people. You also gave me the prey I needed to perfect my ultimate experiment. What? What the fuck are you, some, some kind of goddamn ghost? Don't be silly, Colin. There's no such thing. Huh. How are you moving that chair? Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, come on, please, you know his humble voice. Don't you remember the work we did together? Shall I remind you of this? The same robe and pipe I frequented our dorms in all that time ago. Uh, uh, oh my god, Jack. Jack Griffin, is that you? What happened? So, now you recognize me. <laughs> you always had your head in the clouds, focused on what you could never have. Never living here, right in the moment. You're lucky I hadn't killed you like all those mass thugs I found you with. But, but, I don't understand. What do you want with me? Where are we? What's shh, happened to you? Shh, 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 shh. Let me speak, for God's sake. I want to test a theory on you. You know, I would have a lot of shit at uni. My head wasn't the best place with all my horrendous illness. And frankly, I regret it. I owe my medical knowledge to you, Jack. You're one of the smartest people I've ever met. You didn't deserve all those hospital visits. No! You don't get to weasel out of this one. You're my prey now. I've obtained the ultimate cure I've been searching for all my life. Something the Nazis held in World War II, a blue jewel of untapped energy and light manipulation. And though their limited human minds couldn't grasp its full potential, I can. Show me. I must see your papers. I have knowledge of great cursed things. The science of ancient mystics does not concern me, Colin. I am now the ultimate predator, for no man will ever see my face ever again. I implanted the gem into my stomach and I was finally cured of everything. No longer am I the bottom of the chain. Pathetic, small and meek, I can hunt, hunt all of those who deserve it. I am faster, stronger, invisible and invincible. But why? 
Why? What is this duel? Do you remember Edward? My cat. One must sacrifice a great deal of humanity if one wants to succeed in the realm of science. It caused him considerable pain, but after a curious few hours, even a shard of that thing caused the creature to fade and vanish. The bones and sinews, in fact, among the first to go, followed by the fur, till only his claws remained. On some level, he must have realized what I had done to him, for after my constant hunts around the house, for his persistent, noisy hissing, he began to elude me even after I'd taken account of his new advantage, till finally any evidence of him vanished, like he was never there. He became the master of this world, an invisible predator, the first of his kind. No one can catch him, and no one will stop me. Jack, you've gone mad. We've got to get this out of you at once. Oh, you think I'm crazy, do you? Mad, am I? That's debatable. One thing's for sure, though. I'm better than you at everything else now. Jack? Jack? Hello? You'll never see me coming. Was I, I drugged? Where is this guy taking me? Who is he? I can't see anything behind that tux, that suit, or those goggles. I... I can't keep my eyes open. Uh. Phew. Just some birds. I, I wonder where... Well, that's patch of ground, ah. isn't it? I never fully appreciated it as a kid. But after my parents passed, it became like a playground to me. I'm grateful my father cared for this forest reserve as much as he did. If you're going to kill me, why don't you just hurry up and get it over with? Or at least show yourself, not like the coward you are. I wish you could see the look on my face watching you search everywhere for me. I brought you here out to my playpen for one game, one round. I want you to survive one night in my forest reserve. Then you can go free. What? You're insane. I can go free, for real, and you won't do anything to me? When have I ever been known to lie, Colin? All I want is to prove to both of us how after everything life has taken from me that I've finally surpassed my own human nature and become the ultimate creature, free from ailment and free from disease, hunting the hunter, as it were. Swear to God, my people are going to murder you for this. I can't believe you, Jack. You son of a bitch. You have eight hours. I'm giving you a half hour start before I begin my hunt. Better get moving. See you soon, Colin. You goddamn creep. Get back here. I'll kill you for this. Guess I'm finally alone. What was that? It's... Whose house is this? Is something there? Where is it? Where is that vial? It's got to be here. I don't have much time. Ha! He dropped one. I gotta hold on to it. I might need to bargain with that guy. I, I only hope he considers my contents of my pockets already safe and empty. Just five more minutes. Five more minutes, Jack. Hold it together, hold it together, visible, and you'll be free. I'll stop. No more monsters. Never even noticed it. <sighs> okay, only four hours. 
I gotta be I careful gotta be outside of these bushes. bushes. I'm, so I'm so hungry. hungry. If only there was, there was something, something around here to, around to eat. eat. No, no, I can last till I get home. Jesus. What was he talking about last night? Of course, wait. Maybe he picked sunrise because that's when he turns visible again. If I can corner him before then, I can... Footsteps. Again. But no one here. No. I should have more time than this. Blood. Come on, house, Faust, you pathetic little worm. Don't you see that I'm wounded? Take your best shot. It's, it's no use. They're everywhere. I've, I've got to find back. I've got to get back inside. Find the serum. Ha. Huh. Stop. Stop the breaking through. <coughs> breaking through? What's breaking through? What are you talking about? I, I don't know. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can leave. Just get me back inside. They're almost here. They keep fading in and out. Who's coming? What are you talking about? Look, take your serum, Jack. Where did you get that? Jack, please. Come with me. I might be able to help. What are you seeing? You must be hallucinating. You look so pale. I, there are so many... Another world with all these creatures, monsters, a centipede with human limbs, a, a bad thing with so, so many eyes and targets. Oh dear God, it's unspeakable. <coughs> the medicine, the medicine is not working. They're taking me to the side. Please, Colin, I'm scared. Come on, Jack, breathe. You're fading away. I can't. There's no time. I've seen things, terrible things. I'm so sorry for all of this. You're always going to survive, and I knew it. I'm always so sickly, feeble, and He's gone. Nothing left but this, this jewel. You were never weak. All the pain in your life, you're one of the strongest people I've ever met. Even now, you're still teaching me. If I have to play this accursed occult game, I will survive. I may have lost my Marianne, but with this jewel and your sacrifice, I promise to bring her back. <laughs>